Okay, everybody, we just had the uh, last FOMC meeting. Here was the knee-jerk reaction. We dropped 6.71, and we came all the way down here, and now we have popped this baby up here, and they raised the rate. You can see the diamonds, and these are robots. And this is exactly what the Dow did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight times 6.71 is a move. That means that the intraday range, everybody, on the Dow is right here at 86.38. And that's 86.73 off of the low. And we continue to go higher. We are running toward Dow... 20,000. This is the knee jerk reaction to the release. Now we're going to have an FOMC meeting. So now the Fed funds rate has gone up 0 0.25. And we can see the Dow running right here at 19,000. Look at that baby trying to run toward that big psychological number. Just like it did many years ago, 10,000 was the psychological number, and I'm showing you right here live, and this is a three-minute chart on the Dow Jones. Now, having said that, everybody, this is that knee-jerk reaction. And they went ahead and they raised it. Now, all the pundits and everybody else is going to be talking about it. The IR range is 86, so it's very strong. We just had a huge move. The range is now at 104, period. And so the low today was 19,886. And we're 81 points off of the low. We just now dropped 20 points off of that high. One, two, three, four, five times 6.71. That's over 30 points. And... So this is how the FOMC meeting goes. The other thing that we're going to be happy to show you is what the S&P did. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull up a three-minute chart right here on the S&P 500. And you want to see some volatility, man? This is the Market Maker app. This is what the S&P, they dropped it down here to 22.67. And they shot it straight right up there mathematically. Now, let's go into the, uh, we're going to hit the diamonds. This is a three-minute chart. This is the knee-jerk reaction on the S&P 500 on this FOMC meeting. And we're about three minutes live. Look at here. They dropped it right off of that high. Now, each one of these diamonds are, are robots called Epic the uh, market maker bots. We can see right here, 0 0.89 per 1 16th value. So 12.79 was times 89. So basically we hit the high up here to the right to our resistance level. And you can see the reversal. You can see this big move right now on the FOMC announcement. And you can see these diamonds, which are high frequency trading technologies that are used by supercomputers. And the diamonds here, the values that are here, the strength is only 51. We can see right now that the current uh, trend ratio went negative 0.110. We were positive eight, zero. This is that knee jerk reaction. Now let's go ahead and put the Dow Jones. Oh, here, so here's your Dow. Here's the S&P, they're right here next to each other. So here, let's do this. Let's go ahead and blow this up for you. Here we go. This is to all our guys. FOMC, today's date is 12, 14, 2016. And when we talk about accuracy, look, at the math doesn't lie. And it doesn't. And nor does the strength of the math. 
and the deltas that are done by fractions that equal a price, we went straight up here to 19. Well, it's very simple. I'll click on that. The high was 19.966. That was the high on the S&P. And when they announced it, they brought it right here. You can see that big move. These are high frequency algorithms that are used with supercomputers where the day trader, they can't keep up. Nope. That's why they need to be here. And the thing about it is we prove it to you. And I can tell you, you owe it to yourself to go ahead and get to know us. Because if you do, at the end of your free five-day trial, it's going to be the best thing that you've ever done in your life. So don't make an opinion. Don't try to figure it all out. Just know one thing. This is the FOMC meeting for the year. And I want everyone to know that on Friday, it's the last quarterly triple witch monthly expiration. Triple witch options are expiring. Futures and other instruments are all expiring. That's why it's called a triple witch. So once again, we're about six minutes into this move. The announcement is out. What we will end up doing is we'll put it in our economic section that we have. And we will go ahead and break down all the numbers. And there is going to uh, the chair lady, Janet Yellen, is going to get ready. And she's going to have a speech. And people are going to ask questions. And then we're going to try to find out what kind of uh, talk that we get out of the Fed. And do are we going to have more rate hikes? I can tell you today the retail sales numbers came out for November and they were horrible. They were 0.1%. The estimate would have been 0.6. So you know what? It sounds like me for the month of November that people really were not out in the malls. So, you know, it tells me one thing. Amazon's been doing a lot of business. Um, who knows why? The consumer wallet hasn't changed. People are optimistic. The market's run ahead of everybody. And I just want everyone to know that this here live video, um, once again, here's the Dow. Over here's the S&P. You can see them together. And we'll go ahead and conclude this video for now. Here we go right now. We're still live. I'm showing everybody on this number on that S&P. This was that top. That was that knee-jerk reaction. You can clearly see. Look at that big sell down. You can see over here on the Dow Jones. That's this one right here. Three-minute chart Dow. Look at that big pop. Look at that big sell down. Look at those diamonds. Those are robots. We developed the bots to keep up with the high-frequency algorithms and be able to track them mathematically. Mathematically, they don't lie. They don't. And this is where the S&P is going down on the news. And once again, I'm going to go on pause. We're still live. The time is 11.14 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The date is 12.14.216. And this is the S&P getting killed right now. Look at that. Look at the IRs, 12. Ooh, six. Look at here. How do you guys like that live? How do you like the Dow over here? Look at those diamonds. Look at the math. So all you free trial people, guess what? Come and get your new home here so that you can be part of this and you can be making money on these indexes and other stocks are selling off too. I want everyone to see what this, this is one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times 89. Do the math. We got a 5IR Houston. We got the uh, Dow trying to put a bottom in. They both look the same. Once again, 13 IR is weak. We have on the Dow Jones mathematically, we can see exactly where it is. And this was how the volatility, and then you can see that. And then I'm going to update everyone. I'm going to go back on pause. 
1115 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the day the 12th, 14, 216. This is the end of the year. Merry Christmas to everybody. Our Christmas present to you is, is that you get here right away. You don't wait. You don't even think. You just come and get part of the party and get to see it live while you're in our live trading room. And this is a big announcement. Buy the rumor. Sell the news. We're going to find out what she's going to say. And we'll update everybody later as to what the uh, FOMC Q&A questions and answers and what their outlook looks like. And we'll be back. Okay, here we have coming back. We're going to let everybody know that the Dow Jones was just down 130 points. Buy the rumor, sell the news. We can clearly see that it's had a 217-point range, and it's dropped 177 points off of the high of that FOMC meeting on the Dow Jones. Uh-huh. And right now, that was a big short by the rumor. Look at here, off of the interday high, everybody, on the Dow Jones. Now, that's the interday range of this FOMC meeting. I want everyone to know, too, that it's a quadruple witch. It's the last quarterly option, futures, all of it's going to have expirations, and it's the final one for the big hurrah of 2016. Now, when we get over here to the S&P, the S&P was down 20-some points, and we've come up off of the bottom, and once again, we can see that this is a 60-minute chart. This was that big spike down all the way down here. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. This is the Dow. Sell the news. This is the S&P. Now we're starting to get some recovery off of the bottom mathematically. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, market maker black box. Here we go. 3.55 per one-fourth delta in our system and mathematically it's perfect and these diamonds are robots that we developed and we have a 27.78 range on the S&P and it was a 20 point drop as of right now off of that high and that's what that was so basically we got a recovery Right now, off of the low of 7.32. Yes, and this is a market maker app. It's 100% mathematical. And what you need to do is to do the following. Here is the actual uh, Turbo Option trading site itself. And so the videos will be uploaded. And once again, we are the only market maker on the internet. That's what our firm does. And we provide you everything. So, once again, we're bouncing off of these lows right here. So, we're 17.9 off of the high and 9.86 off of the low. And you can see exactly what these diamonds are. These are robots. And they're mathematical high-frequency trading technologies. 3.55 per line right to the penny. And you can see it. That's the S&P, and we have the same number that we were down 130, and they're coming in off of the bottom. Let's go to the black box. So right now, off of the inner day high is only 134. So basically, they got a 85-point move right now off of this bottom in this volatility mathematically, and I'm pointing it out. This is a Dow Jones 60-minute chart. We own the application. It's, it's a market-making firm. It's a market-maker app. And we welcome you to come and take a look at the moves on the FOMC meeting. 